Welcome to another episode of the Multifamily Collective. This morning, it's Monday, it's uh, September the 16th, 2024, and uh, getting set to head out to Las Vegas, plane leaves tomorrow morning very early, and we're uh, going to attend, uh, we're going there to attend Blueprint in Vegas 2024. Very excited about that. But in the meantime, let's talk about something else. That's not the purpose uh, of this video today. We're, today, we're going to talk about challenging convention. But I have to preface by telling you a little bit of a little background. I attended a meeting this past Friday and I was sitting in the meeting and somebody asked a question. They made the, the statement, how do you challenge convention? And uh, there were many participants in this meeting and several of the participants went down the path of talking about change and change management and things of that nature. And which, which in my head was a way, potentially a way of interpreting the question and taking a stab at answering it, uh, my mind went a completely different direction. And I think many times I'm, I'm guilty of taking strict interpretations of, of words. So like convention to me is really like something that is a sacred cow, something that is a process system, discipline, routine, whether it be in an industry or be in a company specifically, or whether it be something that is part of your DNA and your operating system as a human or an individual. And so my mind went in a completely different direction, but then I felt sort of paralyzed in that the, the group had gone down a completely different direction. I decided regretfully not to introduce a new concept, not a new concept, but a different way of interpreting that question. And so here I am. <laughs> so uh, the question, how do you challenge convention? And this was asked in the context of changing the way that we view property management, the way that we Manage property in the future versus the way we're doing it today and or the way we did it yesterday, meaning that some technology has already made its way into the space and we are challenging conventions. We are challenging the way we do business and we are changing and shifting. Uh, many companies are very agile. They're agile enough to understand that they need to change. Some of them are really pioneering that change. Some are on the bleeding edge. Some are on the cutting edge. But the way that I interpreted that question is just that. How do you put mechanisms in place? that give cause for you to challenge convention on an ongoing basis. And there are two that I would share with you, or at least the way that I interpreted this question in that context was, what are the ways that you do that? And one is, uh, I worked for an organization where we put together a, a thing called the MAC, and the M stood for the name of the company, and the A and the C stood for Action Committee. And what we did is we took all of our systems, disciplines, processes, and routines, and we put them into, we split them into Let's say there were 200. I can't remember how many there were at the time, but let's say there were 200. We split them into 50s or quarters rather, so that we had 50, 50, 50, 50. And then over the course of the year, this action committee was tasked with going through 50 systems, processes, disciplines, and routines on a quarterly basis in making sure that they still fit the current business climate. They still fit the current uh, uh, intended results. Uh, they still fit the team member experience, the consumer experience, all the experiences and all the the journeys that all of those team members and customers and so on and so forth, the way that they make their through your their way through your organization. And you put those things subject to. So every quarter, 50 of our processes were analyzed and refigured if needed. And then next quarter 50 more and the next quarter 50 more. So we were always relevant and we were always cutting edge. We weren't bleeding edge, but we were cutting edge as it related to the way that we operated our business. The other, so the point is action committee, task, take all of your systems, disciplines, processes, routines, get a total, cut that total by four, and then every quarter, make sure that you're evaluating everything that you do to make sure that it is still relevant in the, in the space that you're operating in. The second is an exercise called red teaming. And I think this, I, I'm going to say it's red teaming. There are probably other better terms or phrases for this particular practice. But what the practice is, you set up two teams in a room and you task one team with coming up with every single way to put you out of business. And you, as the current business owner team, you figure out what might you anticipate as a headwind or 
uh, something that will come and wipe you out as a business. You try to anticipate whatever those things are, but this red team over here is tasked with doing everything possible to put you out of business. So they're going to look for your blind spots. They're going to look for your flank or the opportunity to flank you in some way. And they're going to put together a strategic plan that would take you out. And you're going to try to defend yourself. And at the end of that exercise, red team talks about all the principles and concepts and strategies that they're going to use to put you out of business. You're going to hopefully have thought about all the things that could potentially put you out of business and you'll figure out, you'll have figured out a strategy to, to combat that or to compete against that. And then ultimately you'll yield some things where, oh, wow, didn't think about that. We better get on that or we better do something about that. And then that ultimately leads to an annual strategic plan or an annual set of initiatives that you could put in place to, to make sure that you are always staying cutting at least cutting edge, if not bleeding edge in your, in your particular industry with your particular business. So the question, how do you challenge convention? Two ways, put together an action committee within your organization that's doing an ongoing subject to analysis of everything that you do. The other is do a red teaming exercise at least once a year, if, if not more often. Uh, on an abbreviated basis, but definitely do it at least once a year, especially in an environment like today where everything is changing so rapidly. Take care. We'll talk to you again soon.